for the last four five years well actually certainly since we've had the rv uh we've spent winters in um southern spain or in the mediterranean um where we've had a little bit of condensation sometimes overnight um, not really a big issue but uh, we're in the uk now and um it's almost november and um all oh my days the condensation we are generating more water on our windows well we've generated enough water probably to um to solve the water crisis in the desert but anyway whatever um they're single glazed so um they are an issue so i've done a little bit in fact no i haven't done a little bit of research not intentionally what happened is i was chatting to a friend of mine um who used to travel with the circus and um he gave me some tips and so this is so so we tried it out and um ha, oh my goodness it works We went uh, down the DIY store and uh, bought a couple of these, which are uh, just basically polystyrene sheets. And they're, uh, there's eight in there, I believe. So they're actually quite thin and they fit into those grooves perfectly. As you can see here, we've got the runners or two gaps and they're actually full of water now. Um, but we're going to make use of that to make a, and we're going to use both of those to put the, um, the polystyrene sheets in. All we need to do is to cut them down. Now, um, and in the case of the the one that goes closest to the glass, I'm actually going to cover that in um, silver foil. You know the stuff you use for baking. Um, because that helps to keep that pane of glass cold because um, you don't want it condensation it is formed by hot air touching the cold surface of a uh, pane of glass or, or whatever even the cold surface of a, of a wall or, um, or whatever anything that touches a cold surface the warm air touches it and the water condenses onto it in term condensation so what we want to do is keep that pane of glass cold so if we put the silver foil on the outside bit it helps to keep it cold and um, as you'll see when I'll show you in a minute how well that works to do this um, I would recommend that you actually, well in fact it's probably rather essential that the window is dry um, not like this you can see it's absolutely soaking in the air soaking wet that's no good it needs to be completely dry because otherwise all you're going to do is just trap all that moisture in there between your uh polystyrene sheets and the window itself and the water's going to go somewhere so and it won't burn off so i don't quite know what happened but dry the window first um what we've done is pick a nice sunny day let the sun dry the window out <laughs> I'm lazy um let the sun dry the window out and so we're starting with a dry window yes we won't be able to look out but since we're parked up now for um a few months over the winter period um not really anything to look out to so um i'd rather be warm and um dry <laughs> dry inside yeah i'd rather be warm and toasty so um I think it's worth doing we're only let me aha right we're only doing down the we're only doing the windows on the slide out because it's the slide out that uh, um is actually gets the coldest because there is more surface area on the outside um there's more windows to it um and so it's the most exposed bit so that's the bit we're doing we're not doing the other side um because we still want some natural light coming in um, not there's much in the winter in the uk but you know have what we can get um and also 
I want to be able to, someone knocks on the door, I want to be able to look out the window and see who it is before I open the door. You know, might be somebody nasty. Who knows? So, um, <laughs> no, seriously. Um, it's not so much, it, yes, it's a problem. Condensation is still a problem on one side, but, you know, we need to have a window cracked a little bit anyway, so we can avoid that. Um, now, I know what you're thinking. What about the front, the big windscreen? That is, yeah, absolutely. There's nothing you can really do about it. Well, actually, there is. Um, silver screens. Silver screens on the outside. External silver screens. They're great. Um, and uh, you can get them fairly cheaply for um, A-class motor... No, sorry, not A-class. Um, C and B-class. Um, your ordinary European motorhome. Um, I looked at getting one for a big RV. It was a lot of money. So what we've done, we're, we're not doing that. We're just going to keep the curtains drawn as they are now, um, which are insulated to a degree. Um, they're not. It's not stopping the condensation, but we're putting um, towels or condensation catches, whatever, down underneath the windscreen just to catch all that water. Um, it's there's only so much you can do. The other tip I was given was where you have cupboards and external walls um, is to put this stuff against the external wall inside the cupboard. Um, what that will do is again it will help to stop condensation forming. It's all to do with a, there's a, a, a dew point, a condensation point. Um, which is ideal for water to do. and what it does is it 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 messes up that 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 point so it can't condense the water or condense the, the water in the air onto the surface of the back of the cupboard um i spoke to somebody another, one of our other friends and um, mentioned this and said oh yeah we do that yeah it works brilliantly so um yeah, yeah. thank you thanks for telling us beforehand there had to be someone completely outside of the motorhome community that happened to tell this who used to do these things anyway it doesn't matter i'm telling you <laughs> so hopefully that's a, that'll, that'll help now obviously if you're spending the winter in uh in in warmer climates uh down in the mediterranean you don't really care do you so no <laughs> i know never mind so that's the following morning and um it's uh, been a cold night and well let's see how well it's worked um first of all let's have a look at this side uh, i don't know whether you can see that that probably see that better on that window but that is see that's not on the inside that's on that's not on the outside that's on the inside so we've got a serious amount of condensation going on um on the unprotected or the unboarded up windows. 
So, how did uh, how did our things work? Okay. Oh, as you can see on this one, on here, I don't know whether you can see that, but um, oh, right at the top, there's a tiny amount of condensation, but you can I don't know whether you can see, but uh, the um, just there. It's it's hasn't gone right up against the window, so we've got a tiny gap. So there's a little bit of condensation, very tiny amount. I'm not particularly bothered about that. Um, and on this side, again, this this panel didn't fit as tightly as anything as everyone else, and as a result, we've got condensation on there a little bit. Um, and on this side none whatsoever oh look at that we just saw that run down there um and on this side none whatsoever um on our end pieces our end ones where we've got the double um thickness absolutely none at all not a single sign of any and on the other end let's have a quick look on the other end I don't know whether you can see that it's not so clear but um, uh, trust me oh tiny bit at the top we've got a tiny 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 piece at the top so pretty much generally um, that's worked and I must admit inside is much warmer now I'm out here I can't believe this it's really cold out here and I'm in a t-shirt um, I must be getting used to the cold weather of England that's worrying, isn't it? Anyway, um, right, well, I hope you found this video useful. Hope you found those tips helpful. Um, it's not the bit, yes, we're blocking the windows up um, so we can't see out and there's no um, natural, or the, the, it's reduced natural light, but it is, it's solving the condensation problem and it's keeping it much warmer. Bear in mind the winter in England is dull, miserable, grey, and to be honest with you, even when I lived in a house, we used to keep the window curtains shut all the time and keep that misery out of, out of our lives. So um, it's a solution, and it'll do for this year. Um, hopefully, next year we'll be somewhere warmer and better. But we will have to wait and see. Um, so. I hope you enjoyed the video um, if you found this helpful found this useful just enjoyed the video please give me a thumbs up really do appreciate those um, and if you haven't done so already please click that subscribe button and um, I'll see you next time bye bye before you go if you're thinking of full-timing yourself but want to know more or you just enjoy a really good read check out my book it's available now in Amazon which tells of our story of how we started full-timing, very suddenly, with no planning, and some of the hilarious consequences of that.